In this video, we will make an example of message boxes that are often used when developing desktop applications in the Python programming language. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. Let's start the design of the project. Before starting the design, create a Python project. Create a Python encoding file to transfer the required libraries. Let's start the design now. We will design the desktop application in the Qt design program. Create an empty project in the Qt design program. Add a button to the design. Name the button. Specify an ID to access the button during the coding phase. We will assign a task to the button during the coding phase using the ID. Save the design project in the Qt Designer program. We will use the design file in our Python code file. For this, your Python project file and your design file must be in the same folder. Pay attention to this when saving the design file. Let's start the coding phase of the project. As you can see, our design file has been added to our code Python project file. We will convert this design file into a Python code file and transfer it to our main Python code file and use it. To do this, we need to transfer the Qt library to our Python project file. Transfer the required file to your Python project. It throws an error because the Qt file is not found in the project file. Click on it and transfer it to your project file. The Qt library will be added to the Python project file shortly. The installation is complete and the error in the Qt code has disappeared. Now let's convert the design file to the Python code file. For this, go to the terminal section. You can convert the design file to a Python code file with this code using the name of the design file. Press Enter. Our design file has been converted to a Python code file. Now let's examine this file to better understand it. Inside the code file there is a Python class called main window. The codes of the design are included in this class. We will transfer this class to our main Python code file and use it. The codes of the button we added in the design section are located in the Python code file. Transfer the QMessageBox file from the Qt library to make a MessageBox desktop application. Transfer the class from the design Python file to the main Python code file. Transfer the sys module so that the program starts and closes without error. Create a class to make the desktop app sync the Qt widgets and QMain window files with the class. Create the main function inside the class. Use the super parameter to use the self parameter in all functions inside the class. Import the class from the design Python code file into the class. You can check the name of the class in the design code file to avoid errors. Make the self parameter ready for use. Create a function to create the desktop application. Send the arguments from the sys module to start the program without error. Create a desktop application from the class we created in the code file. Show the desktop app on the screen. Send the arguments from the sys module so that the desktop application closes without error when clicking the close button. Call the function you created. Run the project to test it. We transferred the design in the Qt designer program to the Python code file. Now let's give the button a task. We will use the clicked and connect methods for this. Specify a function name with the clicked and connect methods. We will create a function in sync with this function name and assign a task to the button. To avoid the error, you can check the button's ID in the Qt designer program. Create the class. Create a message box using the QMessageBox file we transferred earlier. Set the title of the message box. Set the text of the message box. 
Transfer the required module for error-free operation of the message box. Run the program and test it. We created the message box. The message box was created by default with an OK button, but now the button is inactive. We will make the buttons functional soon. Add an icon to the message box. Add buttons to the message box. Set the cancel button as default. You can use the detail function to specify details in the message box. Run the project to better understand what we do. We added the question mark to the message box using the question parameter. Buttons have been added to the message box. The default button cancel is checked. You can provide more information about the message box in the show details section. Now let's make changes to the codes for better understanding. Replace the question parameter with the warning parameter. Replace the cancel parameter with the OK parameter. Run the project to test it. We added a warning sound to the button using the warning parameter. Also pay attention there is a warning sign image instead of a question mark image. The OK button is marked by default instead of the cancel button. Let's add the question parameter instead of the warning parameter to avoid the warning sound. Print the module on the console screen with the print command. Run the project and test it. Each button has its own numerical code. We can assign tasks to the buttons using these numerical codes. But instead of using the numerical codes of the buttons, we can use their text. This makes more sense. Use the clicked and connect methods to assign tasks when the buttons are clicked. Specify a function name with the clicked and connect method. Create a function with the function name you specified. Request a parameter inside the function. Thanks to this parameter, we will access the texts of the buttons. Print the parameter to the console using the text command. Run the project and test it. When we press the OK button, we can see the text of the pressed button on the console screen. Likewise, when we press other buttons, we can see the text of the pressed button on the console screen. Now let's use this feature by creating if queries. When the OK button is pressed, close the application using the Qt widgets file that we sent to the class before. Print a text on the console screen indicating that the cancel button has been clicked. Print a text on the console screen indicating that the ignore button has been clicked. Run the project and test it. When we click the buttons, we can see which button we clicked on the console screen. Now click the OK button and try to close the program. We pressed the OK button and closed the program. By using a different method, we can do these operations in a shorter time. We don't need this function for that. Delete the function. Delete the codes in the show dialog function. We can do the same operations in a shorter time by using the question method in the QMessageBox file that we have transferred to the Python code file. Set the title of the message box. Set the text of the message box. Set the buttons of the message box. Set the default message box. Close the project once the OK button is clicked, as we did before. When the OK button is not clicked, print a text indicating this situation on the console screen using the print command. Run the project and test it. Test the functionality of the buttons. Test that the project is closed when the OK button is pressed. In this video, we made an example of message boxes that are often used when developing desktop applications in the Python programming language. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.